faithful God. Yes, it is. Our God is a faithful God. Yes, Amen. He is full. Woo. Hallelujah. Amen. Lift your hand as if you're reaching out to heaven. Now, if you are watching us from wherever you are, this exercise will not kill you. It is prophetic that you do something. There are times where you just have to do something. Uh, uh, try to reach out to heaven. Today is about touch, touch. Oh, yes. My God. It's a fragrance of today. Touch, touch. Um, <laughs> By doing so, you're telling somebody, I've not come for you, I've come for him. I've not come for you, I've come for touch, you. Touch, 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 try, oh, try to reach. Some of you are getting there. You are getting closer. I say, you are getting closer. Say, Jesus. Jesus. I'm here for you. I'm here for you. Say again, Jesus. Jesus. I'm here for you. Do unto, me, Do unto me according to your will. According to your will. In Jesus' name. In Jesus. Give him the greatest, the craziest praise. Hallelujah. You have. We are all this God. We Hallelujah. Find your neighbor. Give him a high five. Hey, high five. High five. Oh high five. God is a good God. He's a mighty good God. Hallelujah. Awesome Amen. God. Sweet, sweet Jesus. Mm -hmm. Sweet Jesus. What a wonder you are. You are bright. Than the morning sun. You What a wonder.
55, verse 9, 10, and 11. At the count of three, one, two, three, we read. So are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain comes down and the snow from heaven, and do not return there, but water the earth, and make it bring forth and that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So, so shall, shall my word be, be that, that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but it shall come accomplish what I have My Hallelujah. Yes. Verse 11, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not. It shall not. It shall not. It's definite. It shall not return to me void. But what I please. And it shall prosper. Somebody give Jesus Christ praise Glory right there. Hallelujah. Give him praise right there. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please, I have a seat. If you can, God bless you I all. Bless you. bless you. It is imperative for you to know who your God is. The people that know their God, they shall be strong, they shall do exploit. You begin to do exploit in God when you discover who he is. Amen. Not knowing your God is wasting his potential. Because you will not know, uh, you will not see him in his best if you do not know him. Knowing God unleashes him. The degree of your knowledge is the degree of your experience in God. There is nothing that beats your revelation. That's why you must desire to know him more. Lift your hand and say, Oh God, oh God reveal yourself to me. Reveal yourself to me. I will never emphasize on this in our family that many today know about God. And in fact, we in increase our knowledge of God or knowing about him. But very few know God. In reality, the mere fact that I am called a pastor does not imply automatically that I know God. The mere fact that I've been in the house of God for 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years does not translate to knowing God. You can be a piece of wood in water. You do not become automatically a fish. That's right. mm. Amen. 
Now, the greatest dilemma we have that is creating what I call a cacophony in the church of God, breaking the harmony of the gospel and uh, uh, destroying unity that's supposed to be among those who stand to proclaim the gospel, is found first in the fact that uh, our revelation is faulty. Those of us who are eloquent, those of us who have degrees, those of us who have been in church for long, those of us who have been recognized, those, those of us who have been established in platform, think that our strength comes from where we put our foot. I am Pentecostal, I am Methodist, I've been here long, I dress with a robe. Whatever, we find our strength where we're supposed not to find our strength. The strength of one who walks with God is in the revelation he has of the God who's walking with him. Amen. The question today is not whether you belong to a denomination or an abomination. The question here today is whether you know him. Hallelujah. Now I want you quickly to do me a favor by looking at the person next to you and say, do you know him? Do you know him? <laughs> you can know about him. You can know the songs of God. You can know the names of God. You can know heaven. You can describe heaven. You can design it, but still not know him. The people that know the God, they beat the devil. That's right. The people that know the God. They kick him so hard. Right. The people that know their God, they do not turn back, they march on. The people that know their God, they are not intimidated, they are motivated. Amen. The people that know their God, they do not lose battle, they always win. Amen. The people that know their God, they will always arise, they will stand strong. Come winds or oh high water, they are here to stay. They will keep on marching from victory to victory. From strength to strength. I am talking about you, child of God. I, I am talking about you, daughter of the living God, son of the most high God. Amen. Do you know him? Mm. Oh, well, how is it that you can stand and speak the way you speak? I know him. Where do you draw your strength and your boldness from? Where will you speak? Speak with such confidence. I know him. Amen. The difference is, do you know him? You can never live your life beyond the level of your revelation. That's right. Someone says this. If your revelation is not upgraded... Your life will be outdated. <laughs> Hallelujah. No, no, it, it doesn't matter. There are people here who spoke from here. Here, no, meaning here, meaning a platform like pastors who have not upgraded. Now they are outdated. Jesus. The robe still fits them. Mm -hmm. But they are outdated. Oh God. The Bible still looks good. But they are outdated. They still remember the songs and the hymns. But they are outdated. They still pray the Holy Ghost. But they are outdated. Revelation is progressive. Paul said we know in part. One day we will know as we have been known. The things that the church of God knows today, we did not know it yesterday. But you see, as we keep on opening ourselves to the Lord, He's leading us deeper. He's taking us deeper. Because you got to know in any given time in your life that God will always have more for you. You have not exhausted every knowledge that there is. You have not exhausted every wisdom that there is. You have not not exhausted it so do not live your life as if you have found it all Jesus. as if you know it all oh, God, <laughs> uh, mr know. man says i know it all if you do this is not right because according to my book if you do it it's not good your book needs some upgrade Jesus. upgrade your book or you shall be outdated who am i talking to I the people that know that god that shall be strong
and they shall do exploit. Now have a seat. I want to show you something that you got to know. If there are many things that you have to know of your God, this one you should not miss. Because it marks the difference between two people. This thing I share with you today. A simple thing, but yet knowing it is a breakthrough. God is a faithful God. Amen. That all, if you will not know many things about him, just know him as a faithful God. Amen. You see, the, 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 the attitude and the reaction we have depends to the degree we know God. If you know that God is faithful, you will know that the calm winds or high water, he will not leave me nor forsake me. Amen. He shall be with me every day till the end of time. Because he is God, he cannot deny himself. Look at somebody say, God is a faithful God. God is a faithful God. Those who walked yesterday came to know him as a faithful God. That's why they did not die of depression. Because you see, the enemy can trouble you. Satan can throw so much your way. That you yourself begin to ask for death. Kill me now, oh God. Tomorrow is too far. I gotta die now. You asking for death because you have no hope. And the reason why you have run out of hope is not because you're going through situation. It's simply because the situation that you're going through did not find in you what you need to address it. Every one of us go through situation. All of us go through trouble. But some of us are well equipped for it. Amen. I'm saying that some of us I are well it. equipped for it. Winds it. may come. Waves may come. We remain like Mount Zion. We are not shaken. We remain Amen. solid. For we know that Jehovah has the last word. Amen. I receive it. Are you hearing me? Knowing him is key. And knowing him as a faithful God is indispensable for your growth and your well-being. You see, we can all go through the same thing. The same situation. In the same way. One is breaking down. The other one is at peace. And when you dig down to understand why is it that you are not breaking down. The one who is not breaking down will tell you. He is a faithful God. Hallelujah. He's a faithful God. Have a seat. It is. There is a story of the young man who was in the flight. This young boy was in the flight. And they went through a moment of great turbulences. There are some people who will already walk to Cape Town. Simply because of the, the fear of an airplane. And you see, they don't fear to enter the airplane. They do not like the discomfort of moment of turbulences. Mm. I was going some days to a mine in a different country, in the central part of Africa. I, I was going to a mine, and that was no ministry. And I was in the flight, this flight that we hired, and we allowed some people to come. But it was a very small King Air flight. We, I tell you, it was unpleasant. You had to pray all the time. Jesus. Ah, Lord. <laughs> and what made the trip worse was there was a mama who did not stop crying and speaking. Hey, my children, we are about to die now. What will happen? Hey, pilot. Whoa. Hey. And it made it worse because I'm trying to focus, Mama. Are you hearing me? Amen. You know, every time I flew uh, certain areas, there are areas that I know this area from this part to this, there will be turbulences. And you gear yourself, the pilot will say, Fasten your seat belt. But I tell you, life has some bumpy times. Right. Now, this young boy was in the flight, and they got in that place where it was really bumpy. It was uncomfortable. Everybody was crying. Because the airplane will go, 
You think when it goes down, it's like your heart remains up. <gasps> and as the plane was going, you know, he was calm, he was playing his game and uh, eating something. And, uh, so everybody was crying, crying bitterly. I tell you, family, if you're not used with this, the bump in an airplane can cause an old man cry. You see an old man. <laughs> because right there you start realizing that here, I can't say, pilot, stop. I'm, you know, getting off the plane. You can't. You can't say, we are landing now. You realize right there that you are closer to God than you've ever been. <laughs> But you see, when everybody was going through a situation, this young boy was at peace. He was doing his things, running his business, doing whatever he was doing right there, reading and watching movies and playing games. Then after a while, when he stabilized a little bit, there was a man that came and said, you, we are about to die. <laughs> and you are playing. <laughs> you see, People feel like a worrying is being responsible. If you go into a situation and you are at peace, they think you are irresponsible. Jesus Christ was sleeping when the boat was toasted left and right. They woke him up. They said, that, Are you not afraid? Are you not concerned that this will happen? Why do I have to be concerned? My life is not my own. Oh, yes. My life is in the right hand Amen. of our Lord Jesus. Amen. Now they say, aren't you concerned that we are about to die? The, the, the flight is going up and down. Everybody's crying and you are all calm. He said, I know this flight is not going anywhere. We will land properly. He said, what informs you that? He said, the captain on the flight is my father. As long as he's there, Hallelujah. we are not going anywhere. <laughs> May I tell somebody, the captain of the flight is the Lord, most high God. Yes. The bumpy roads does not mean there will be a crash. Amen. Are you hearing me? Thank you, Jesus. You see, everybody panicked because they did not know what that young boy knew. Mm. Mm. They cried the way they cried is because they did not know what that young boy knew. And he, on his side, did not panic. He did not cry because he knew something that nobody else knew. He knew that my father will never allow a crash as long as he's there and I am here. Let me tell you, you are about to word. get where God said you will get. The I devil is a liar. A thousand may fall on your side, ten thousand on your right side. It will not come near you. With your eyes only shall you see the reward of the wicked. You are getting there by fire, by force. Glory to Jesus. I receive this word. Woo! I have a seed. I want to see. Emphasize on this. God is a faithful God. Amen. If you have to hear this once a week, it will make you stronger. Amen. If you can hear this, remind yourself this every second, it will make you unbreakable. Amen. God is a faithful God. Family, if today I will resurrect Lazarus and give him the microphone, probably among many things he will have to say, he will say this. God is a faithful God. If I have to pass my microphone to Father Abraham and say, Father Abraham, summarize your understanding of God, he will say, God is a faithful God. If I go to Babylon and look that time for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and give them the microphone. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego will probably say to me that God is, is a faithful, faithful God. God. Little David behind the flocks mm. of his father understood that. That's 
That's why he defeated Goliath. That's why he ruled Israel. And if you go to David and say, Oh, son of Jesse, oh, please summarize to me your understanding of God. Mm. David will say, God, God is a faithful, faithful I want to go to Egypt and look for Joseph. And I say, Joseph, you are a promised child. Oh, you have gone through winds and high water. Please tell me, what did you understand of God? Joseph will say, God, God is, a, is faithful a faithful God. God. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. God is faithful. He is. He cannot deny himself. Mm. What proceeds out of his mouth will certainly come to pass. I believe. Everything Jehovah God says will take a form and a shape in your life. I receive. I say your God will not leave you. Amen. Your God will not forsake you. He will never turn his back on you. Amen. His promises in God are yes and amen. There is a child of God who has received a word from God. You are waiting for the promise of God. You are praying day and night and saying, God, I want to see you. God, I want to see you. Hear me today. God is a merciful God. Amen. He's a good God. Amen. He's a kind God. He's a compassionate God. Amen. Most of all, God is a faithful God. God. Glory to Jesus. It is in, your, in His faithfulness that you'll find your breakthrough. <laughs> because He's faithful, you will testify. Because He's faithful, you will not die before your time. Because He's faithful, He will turn the tables around. Because He's faithful, you are on your way to the top. May this word be yours in the name of Jesus. I receive it. Look at your neighbor say, neighbor. Neighbor, I serve a faithful God. I serve a faithful God. Don't judge me too quickly. Don't judge me too quickly. He will come for me. He will come for me. Glory to Jesus. Listen to me. You can pray with anybody. Don't play with somebody who knows God as his faithful God. Amen. Because God will always come true for his sons and daughters. Right. Even at the nick of time. When all hope is gone. When your enemies are about to celebrate your downfall. Amen. After they had already bought the champagne. Prepare the glasses. Open it and pour in each other. Before they toast. Before they drink. They will hear a turn around. They will hear a turn around. It. I said they will hear of a turn around. I receive. There is a turn around coming. I receive. God is a faithful God. I he said, I will never leave you, nor forsake you. I shall be with you every day till the end of time. The expectations of the wicked concerning you shall never be met. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Those who are expecting your downfall, they will wait, wait, wait for a long oh, time. Yes. You are not going backward. I you are moving forward from oh, glory to glory, from success to success, from victory to victory. I, I see you matting up with wings like an eagle. Hey, it. on eagle's wings. Who am I talking to? On eagle's wings. I receive. I pity those who are digging your grave, mm. thinking that uh, you are about to fall in it. Uh, devil, surprise, surprise. surprise Whatever surprise. you are doing is coming back to you. For I stand in AMI and I decree and I declare back to sender. Back to sender. Yeah. Back to sender. Back to sender. Back to sender. Back to sender. Uh, I don't know what they are cooking behind the door, but let me tell you, they will drink the mixture of their own medicine. Uh, God 
is a faithful God. God is a faithful As God. a God is a faithful God. He's a faithful God. You will not die before your time. I will not die before my no time. No matter what the devil does, you will not die before your time. time. Somebody lift your hand and say, I will leave. I will leave. I will declare. I will declare. The goodness of the Lord. The goodness of the Lord. In the land of the living. In the land of the living. Ah, it's a way maker. It's a way oh, yes. maker. He's making a way for you. He's see. making a way for you. I He's making see. a way. He's making a way. Jesus. Receive it. I receive. In Jesus' name. God is a faithful God. His words will always come to pass. Ezekiel was a young man with a call. He had to serve God as a leading prophet. But in Israel those days, you cannot have two leading prophets. Mm. They had to be one leading prophet. He lived in the time of Jeremiah. Jeremiah was a leading prophet. Therefore, by virtue of the presence of Jeremiah on the platform of Israel, he had zero chance to lead as a prophet. Amen. He began to ask himself, oh God, did I hear you correctly? Lord, you spoke to me. You say I'll be a leading prophet. You will uh, lift me up and raise me up as the voice. The voice of the Lord in my time. What will happen? Will... I wait until Jeremiah dies before you use me. God said, no. Mm -mm. The ways of God are not our, our ways. Amen. Uh, that's somebody said the ways of God. The ways of God. Are not our ways. Are not our ways. Uh, no. He was troubled. But God said, my word that came out of my mouth will not return to me void. <laughs> Ah, but Ezekiel was troubled. Now, how am I going to serve God? God knew it was not a mistake that He gave the same promise to two people in the same time. It was not contradiction. That's right. It was in a time where Jeremiah had prophesied that the Israel will go to captivity in Babylon. Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego were taken in the group in the time where. Babylon was ruled by Nebuchadnezzar. Now, when Israel was taken to captivity, it was just a moment of desolation that a few remnants that remain in Israel, those who remain, remain with Jeremiah. Now, as the people move to Babylon, they needed a leading prophet. Hey. They needed somebody. Mm. It is in that time that God said, you see Ezekiel, I prepared you for times such hey, as this. All the things that uh, you did not understand will begin to <laughs> become clear because once you get into your season which is now whatever was dark becomes clear Ezekiel became the prophet of the captive and he was a leading prophet now if I go and look for where he was staying and I knock his door I hear on the other side somebody ask who is there I answer I am of Lukau I came from hallelujah ministries I have a golden microphone in my hand Yay! I want to interview you for a second I just want to know Ezekiel what do you have to say about your God he will probably open slowly and look at me shake my hand and say I gotta tell you God is a faithful God I'm trying to tell you no matter what you go through God remains faithful amen sometimes the devil will throw so much away so so much that you're trying yourself to kill yourself Mm. You're looking for a panado or two to end your life. It's too much. Somebody, kill me. Even through Bluetooth. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever been in a place where you think that now this devil has me surrounded? Have you ever been in a place where you say, Lord, if you don't come now, now, now. It's over with me. 
I don't know how to face Monday. I don't know what will happen on Tuesday. Mm. In that moment, the devil come and begin to speak to you from inside. Mm. You see, they have lied to you that God loves you. Mm. You see, God blessed everybody but you. That's why family, you got to know him. That's right. As a faithful God. Amen. Many trust in the chariot, mm. in the horses, but we shall trust in the Lord. Amen. We will place our trust in you, oh God. Yes, Lord. We will place our trust in you. Amen. There are times where we have no answers. There are times where we do not know where, where to go. Lord, we will still trust in you. He is a faithful God. Now, please sit down. The greatest difficulty in embracing God as a faithful God is in the fact that we do not understand God. And nobody does. Even the closest prophets. God will always blow your mind. There is no cabeza, the head, that is big enough to contain the mysteries of God. We have a glimpse of who God is. And it is sufficient for us to run our race and fulfill our assignment in a given point. But you see, God is bigger than big. He's greater than great. Is deeper than deep. Is higher than high. Who can understand him? A young boy spoke to his priest and said to the priest, God, the greatest God, the most powerful God, he spoke to his Professor, sorry, not priest. He spoke to his professor. He said, my priest told me, God is the greatest. My priest told me, everything that exists has been created by him. My priest says that God controls everything. And the professor say, the priest lied to you. Whatever the priest say makes no sense. God is not everything that the priest say. And he began to go deep with his philosophy explaining that God does not exist. God did not create man in his image. But rather, man created God in his imagination. Everything to blow the mind of this little developing child. But you see, the wisdom of God is greater than the understanding of men. That's right. So this boy now did not answer the, the, the professor, went by the beach, and he sat alone by the beach. He dug a small hole, and he was quickly running to the, the, the waters, taking the water from the sea and filling it up. The professor saw him from far and felt bad. He probably said that I made him so, so upset and said that he has lost his mind. Let me go and comfort him. He said, young boy, what are you doing? He said, nothing much. He said, but you're going up and down. He said, no, I'm trying to take all the waters of the sea and fill it up in my hole. The professor laughed and said, <laughs> it is impossible that you fill the waters of the sea into this little wall. And the boy stood also, fixed himself, and laughed back. <laughs> he said, the same way it is impossible that uh, you feel the understanding of God in the little cabeza you have, the little Amen. head you have. God! 
God is bigger than you. He's bigger than your age. He's bigger than your experience. He's bigger than your degree. He's bigger than your money. He's bigger than your achievement. He's bigger than your uncle. He's bigger than your auntie. He's bigger than your dreams. He's bigger than your vision. God is big. Amen. God is bigger than my theology. Amen. He's bigger than my philosophy. Let me tell you the, the truth is that uh, there is nothing that drives me nuts than to see somebody who does not know but yet pretends he knows. It just drives me. Ooh. And you see somebody, because I have been here, I've been preaching for 38 years with no fruit, but I'm still persevering. And yet the person tries to convince you that all he knows is all there is to know. You see, when you do not know, make space to learn. That's right. <laughs> oh, God, receive this word. They, they, they passed a microphone, and it was a trick microphone. I, I don't like that practice much because it seems like a, it is playing with um, people's ignorance and mocking them in the, the shortfalls. But I, I saw this video, so I share with you. They, they passed a microphone, and this man was asking one question. He first found the first person and he asked him, Sir, please tell me, if they discover that you have a spinal cord, what will you do? He said, hey. <laughs> Say it again. He said, If it happened, because life happens, that you have a spinal cord, what will you do? He said, hey, hey, hey. I'll go to my doctor. I will ask that they may remove it quickly. <laughs> he said, but, but why are they? Because spinal cord can cause a lot of problems. Cancer, depression, and he went on and on. He was speaking, shooting blank. He did not understand what he was saying. He doesn't know what is a spinal cord. But you see, the structure of the question presented a spinal cord as a problem. That's right. So if you have a spinal cord, let's say life happens, you are, you are found to have a spinal cord, what will you do? Hey! I run to my doctor. I say, doctor, I have a spinal cord. Do whatever you can. Heal me from a spinal cord. This is what we see in the pulpit. Mm-hmm. Are you hearing me? God is a faithful God. Amen. And verse 11 of chapter 55, Isaiah, he said, so shall my word. You see, I say the difficulties that we have in accepting God as a faithful God is uh, in the fact that we do not understand God fully. He said, his ways are not our ways. He didn't say some of his ways are not our ways. He say, his ways are not our ways. Meaning, if there must be harmony between you and God, you must tune into his ways. You must literally renounce you to embrace him. Jesus Christ say, nevertheless, not my will, let thy will be done. He had to renounce his own will to step into his will. It's no longer what I think, what seems to be rational to me. It is now what I accept in God by faith. His ways are not our ways. God may tell you, I want to bless you. I want to give you victory. But you see, he didn't tell you how that victory will come to be. Right. Some of us, if God had told us what it will take to be where he wanted us to be, we will abort mission. We will abort mission. As soon as he begins to say, I want to take you through this, 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 they will lie about you. They will insult you. You will love them, they will curse you. They will always be there to draw you down. They, they, they will go out of the way to pull you down. They will do this and that. Your employer will do this to you. But... By the end of the day, I will bless you. You start thinking, oh, okay, option B. <laughs> because you see, the price to pay in option A sometimes is too, too heavy. 
that God will not tell you that. When God spoke to Israel, he said that I'm giving you a land where milk and honey flows. He didn't tell them that uh, the Canaanite will wait for you. The Jebusite, the Moabite, Amorite, all those guys. He didn't say that. He didn't say that there will be sons of Anak in the land. Because as soon as they hear, while Machi to the promised land, they hear that they are sons of Anak, they will just... Mm, mm, mm. Back to Egypt. Somebody said the devil you know is better than the devil you do not know. Oh God, keep the sons of Anak. We know the Egyptian. We're going back to Egypt. You see, the ways of God are not our ways. Amen. Some of you are going through things and you're wondering, God, have you forsaken me? No, he has not forsaken you. His word will come to pass in I your life in it. this very season. I will see. Are you hearing me? He's a faithful God. Lift your hand and say, my God. My God. Is a faithful God. Is a faithful God. You see, when God said that to you, as you come to AMI today, your life will change. Mm. Just believe it as he said it. He said it, you believe it. That settles it. If he says that I'm blessing you today, every enemy of your progress will fall before you. All you got to do is believe it and see. so shall it be Amen. is this your son is he your son how many children do you have my daughter three. you have three children yes. is this the only boy yes did you say siabonga to god yes did you say that yes and she he's siabonga oh, oh coincidence so he's siabonga yes okay coincidence I call it prophetic coincidence. Mm -hmm. They are always orchestrated by the prophet himself. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> ah. Are you feeling what I'm feeling? You even brought photos. Yes. For my two daughters in Siabong. Oh, you. for you i receive it you and your husband yes even when winds come don't panic because i am seeing a door being open I god will take it. you from glory to glory i receive it. wait for it your children are well yes amen Zoroboshi and home. this one is writing me exams oh. tomorrow she's starting <laughs> okay all news, lift your hands. Oh, God loves you. God loves you. Are you working? How is work? It's well. Sorry? It's well. It's well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> From glory to glory, right? Yeah, but I need better increase. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, it is well, Amen. but you need better increase. Yes. Yeah, certain people feel like uh, where you are at work, you should stop there because that level now above you is for certain color, is for yes. certain people. You know what yes. I'm talking yes. about? Yes, it's only white or at the offices. <laughs> <laughs> now we are putting weight in the prophecy. <laughs> All right, she, 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 she's, she's good. And you say that... Uh, it's well, but you want more. Yes. Do you want more? Yes. Nobody here wants more, only you. <laughs> oh, God. We receive it. Everyone who wants more, receive it now. I receive it. More money, more grace, more power, it. more wisdom, more anointing. I if you want it. more, shout I receive it. I You want more? Yeah.
yes. more what? More increase, more blessings, everything. <laughs> Name it. <laughs> Women standing there with white. There, you're standing. You don't look there. Come here. Glory to Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Jesus. When your time comes, hey. no devil can steal your miracle. No, uh, no, no, don't do devil. My daughter, the more you want, I give it to you. I came to you because God showed me while passing here that uh, there is a greater grace that is coming to you, Amen. to your family. Yes. Remain united and you'll begin to see the glory of God. Amen. Receive it. Amen. Thank you, my father. Whoa. Whoa. Thank Tell you, me, are you part of the church? Yes, I'm um, six weeks now. Six weeks? Yes. Am I your father in the Lord? You are my father. Do you love me? I love you. Do you too trust much. me? I trust Woo! you. Too much. Oh, something glory is to about Jesus. to happen here. I glory. said, something is about to happen. Have many pastors. Yes. You can have many fathers. Yes. You may have father figures. Yes. But you can't have many fathers. Yes. Now your father in the Lord has spiritual authority. Yes. To deal with certain things in a certain manner. Yes. Like now I'm dealing with your livers. Yes. <laughs> oh Jesus. Doctor, Thank come you, here. Papa. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. I want to start a school of spiritual divine medicine. Please do, Papa. <laughs> Where the only instrument used for healing is the anointing. Wonderful. <laughs> anointing for on me. Yes, Jesus. Anointing. Anybody wants an anointing here? Is there anybody who wants more grace, more power? I want more grace. Is there anybody power. watching me that want to be filled with the anointing I of God? This is my See, day. I am seeing your liver. Thank you, Jesus. Swelling. It's very true. And that this will influence and affect your heart. Thank you. It's very true. Is that Papa. true? It's very true, Papa. And because of that, you've been struggling. Yes. But as I'm standing here, yes. I'm praying for you. Thank you, Father. That there may be a turnaround. Yes. That God's hands may touch you. Thank you, Jesus. That you may receive your healing. Thank you, Jesus. But I also want to pray. Yes. It seems like you have somebody I'm seeing laying in the hospital. I'm seeing somebody, family member. Yeah. Who's sick. Yeah, it's my uncle Chuenga. From Zim. Yeah, the vice president of Zimbabwe. Okay, hear Jesus. this. 
I'm not just saying this to say. Thank you. But there'll be bad news if we don't pray. Thank you, Jesus. Because you, you, you see his, his, his body is swelling. You may lose your ankle. The vice president of Zimbabwe. Yes. I can even see him. It's like bleaching. Very true, Papa. Is that true? It's very true, Papa. It's like he's losing his color. It's very true, Papa. Right now, it's critical. Yes, Father. Is that true? It's true, Papa. It's true, my Father. Oh, thank Let you, me Jesus. tell you, the situation right now, right now, the situation yes. with your uncle, yes. is not natural. That's why no matter what they're trying to look, they're not finding a, a satisfactory uh, result. Yes. They do not really know what is really happening. Yes. Because this is witchcraft. Oh, God. Thank you, Jesus. This is witchcraft. Thank you, my father. Hear me. I, I, I'm saying this with uh, uh, respect and understanding the sensitivity of what is happening. This is the vice president of a nation. Yes. But I'm telling you, yes. your uncle stepped on the tail of a lion. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my mm. father. Mm. But I can help. I believe you, Papa. I believe you. Step in, men of God. Step in, the fire. I believe you, Papa. It's well. Because you see, I say to you, witchcraft right now in Zimbabwe yes. has increased levels. Yes. That's why I say to everyone, my brothers, my sisters in Zimbabwe, yes. seek the Lord. Yes. If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves, seek my face, turn from the wicked ways, Amen. I will hear them from heaven. I will forgive the sins. I will heal the, the land. land. If you are in Zimbabwe right now, Find a good Bible-believing church Jesus. and commit yourself. Right now, the atmosphere, the real spiritual warfare, mm -hmm. has not seen before happening in Zimbabwe. Jesus, we trust you, O oh Lord. Tell me, have you ever spoken to me before? No, Papa, I you was have, just watching you every day. You have never spoken to me before. Yes, Papa. You were just watching me. Yes, Papa. Hear the voice of God. Yes. My name is Aflukau. Yes, yes. yes. my, my father. You are my father. And being your spiritual cover, your spiritual yes. father, yes, Papa. I will enter into this battle. In the Thank name Jesus. of Jesus. But you see, you, 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 you must go to your uncle and speak to him about God. He must open because the greatest obstacle will be himself. Yes. He does not believe. I'm... Yes, he does not yes. believe in prophets. Jesus. Okay. He doesn't uh, believe prophet. Yeah. Me, I'm not a prophet. I'm a spirit. Okay. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm a league of my own. Of course. I'm a different breed altogether. Yes, Hallelujah. I was born when the devil Yay. was distracted. Yay. I am here to take over until Jesus returns. I and I do it on purpose. <laughs> Hallelujah ministries. Are you ready to kick some Zimbabwean devils? Yes! Stand up! Are you ready to kick some devils out? Ready. Hallelujah Ministries International! Are you ready to pull your soul and fight this battle? Yes! Lift your hand and pray for the Vice President of Zimbabwe! I see a flag of Zimbabwe there! So we are praying for Zimbabwe. Pray, 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 pray. Regate. Zimbabwe shall be saved. Zimbabwe shall be saved. Regate, Baba.
Soto Robo City. Pray for her. Pray for her. Lay hands on her. Lay hands on her. Break it. Hear this. Lift your hand. We're praying for Zimbabwe. We're praying for Zimbabwe. And we're praying for the vice president. But there are certain things that need to be done. Yes. God does things for his glory. Yes. And if we are not ready to open to the glory of God, yes. the enemy will have us for lunch. Tell your uncle that the Lord has spoken about him. Yes. And that if he will believe God, yes. whatever done here yes. will go to him. Yes. Then but I if he believe. closes up, I believe. If he does not want that, I believe. We will meet in heaven. I believe. I believe. Are you hearing me? Yes, Father. I pray for you. Be well, my daughter. Be well. Healed. Transformed. Amen. Your children are well. Amen. Your family is well. Amen. The spirit of divorce, I break it. In the name of Jesus. The spirit of divorce and marital problem are bracket in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Father. It is well with you. Receive it. Wherever you are, lift your hands. Zoroboshia. Mandaye. I am seeing a young girl. This girl, you were married twice and divorced. Not divorced, sorry. Your husband died. You were in a relationship with a man called Temba and your name is Lindo. If you are here, I want to touch you. I want to pray for you. I want to touch you and I want to pray for you. Zoto Robo Sete. What's wrong with the child? What's wrong? Was born deformed. Yes. The child was born deformed. Yes. Put the child down. All right, all right, all right. Where is the young lady, the Lord, has just spoken to me about? Before I pray for the child, I want that girl. Your name is Lindo. You're in a relationship with a man called Temba. The world is about to know. That our God is not made of stone. Amen. This person, if you are here, come quickly. Hold this.
Look at this. This is an innocent child. And the child was born like this. The devil is a liar. Wicked. Now, I want you to join me. Let's pray for this innocent soul. Mm. I want you and I to pray. Is this the lady? I'm looking for you. All right, all right. Remain there now. We're praying for the prince. Remain there. I want you to stretch your hands toward the child. This child was born like this, but he will not grow up like this. In Jesus' name. Rectification is taking place In the name right of now. Jesus. We receive it. I want you to stretch your hand as we pray. Zata, Reketa. This child was born like this. Mark my word. He will not grow up like this. We believe. Thank you, Jesus. What is your name? I'm Linda, Papa. Lindo is your name. Yes, it's my name, Papa. You're crying, but these tears have become your common story. You cry and cry. You cry bearing your first husband. You cry bearing the second husband. Is that correct? Zorobo Sete. It's correct, Papa. May God rectify every wrong in your life today. In the name of Jesus. Ramama Soto. While I'm praying, if you have a point of contact, lift them up. You have a family member, lift them up. Don't come to me. Let me come to you. As you lift it up, God will see it. I promise you, he's a good God. If you have file, you have something written in the paper, you have something on your phone, whatever the case may be, do so. Lift it up. God is here. God is here. This young girl is being set free. May you partake of her freedom today in the name of Jesus. Bring her up. My daughter, hear me, hear me. Your ordeals ends today. God is saying, you were married to Sipo Sibanda. Is that true? Yes, Papa. This man died of cancer. May every cancerous cell under the sound of my voice dries up now in the name of Jesus I say may it dry up now in the name of Jesus, Jesus. Name, amen. she's in pain in 2008 you buried your husband Sipo Sibanda now you moved into another relationship with a man called Bongani in 2016, Bongani had a heart attack and he died. Yes, Papa, it's true. From pain to pain, from misery to misery, it ends now. I say it ends now. Receive it. Papa, pray for me. I'm here for you, my daughter. Pray for me, Papa. Oh, but he, the spirit, Papa. Hear this, hear this. We, 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 we should break not only that uh, your first husband died, your second husband died, but with Temba, I'm seeing you last year. You were pregnant, but in February you miscarried. <laughs> Is that true? It's true. Papa. In October, you were pregnant again, you miscarry again. It's true. 
hear me, everyone. Every test is turning into a testimony. I receive it. Today, your test turns into a testimony. I receive it. Let the devil hear that. And if he asks you who said that, say, my pastor says so. Amen. My father in the Lord says so. Your test turns into a testimony, testimony. today. I receive it. You will not cry again. I receive. Stretch your hand. You have a photo. You have something. Lift them up. All these are testimonies. All these are testimonies. I receive it. My daughter, your time has come. Your moment of freedom. Your moment of blessings. I receive Rama Mazete. Hosha. Begin to pray for the photo you have. Jesus. Begin to pray for it. Zoto Robo City. Lift them up. Lift them up. Lift them up. Lift them up. Zoto Robo City. Kantaya Mazelaba. Yere de de Shiarababu. The devil like it or not, never the same. I say never the same. Jesus, never never the same. I receive it. Never the same. I receive it. Now lift it. them as high as if you're reaching to heaven. Close your eyes and pray. Now I want you, before you pray, lift your hands with the photo. Lift your hand with the photo. Oh Lord, intervene. Close your eyes. Before you pray, I want you to shift your mind to the right direction. Before you pray, I want you to begin to see yourself well. See the person in the photo well. See your problem solved. If you will not align your faith, you will keep on lifting that photo all the time. And as we pray, you will seal that which God has already done. Can we do that? Lift it up as high. I am the Lord. That he loves me. Pray as the choir is singing. Speak to God over the photo. Breakthrough is taking place all over the auditorium. God is opening doors and healing your family members. Because if you can, something is beginning. Stand up for an impartation. Pray, Salababu. Robo Sete. God is meeting every prayer request now. He's is meeting everyone right at the point of his knee.
those photo as we see pray you are lifting them up to God and something good will happen Our photos lifted up. Those of us who have point of contact, just lift it up before the Lord is doing something major is taking place. Something so sacred is taking place right now. Father, under the anointing of my spiritual father, Lord, every point of contact that was raised under the instruction of God from the voice of your prophet my God may you touch right now in the name of Jesus father be it a family member may the power that raised Jesus from the dead resurrect every dead thing in your family generations from now in the name of Jesus may that business that has died may the same power that raised Jesus from the dead be at work in that business of yours right now may your life never be the same again under the sound prophetic that we are under the supreme anointing of our father I declare every sick that is in the picture that you trust in God for healed in the name of Jesus and if anybody is watching us right now under the supreme anointing of my spiritual father with the healing anointing that flows through me I release the healing power of God on you receive your healing wherever you are in the hospital wherever you are across the globe receive the healing of God right now father we thank you Lord, every picture that represents a family, it is done. Cleansing, oh God, has taken place. Put your hands together and celebrate him just for what he has done in this moment today. Today, so many things have happened. Just celebrate him from inside out. So many barriers has been removed so many lines of limitations has been blown away by the spirit of the living God as our man of God says mark his word your life shall never be the same again it has just taken a new turn father now God I bless your sons and your daughters under the authority and anointing of my father their week is blessed go in the uncommon favor of Almighty God. You have been cleansed. Think different. Act different. Receive different. Do things different this week. You're not the same person that you were when you entered at 4 a.m. this morning. Just go back differently. Walk differently. Drive differently. Speak differently. Act differently and receive it. In the name of Jesus, we love you. God bless you.